Hey everyone, how you doing? Tranche Don here, and I'm going to be doing a update video uh, on the pupa that I received uh, several months ago. Um, as you can see up here is one of the um, Atticus Atlas, the Atlas moth that has emerged. Uh, it emerged back on Sunday, and today is Wednesday. And the reason I'm doing this video is basically these don't live for very long. Um, sometimes only a week or so, and basically it's kind of running out of time which is a shame uh, this is a female and she's already started to lay eggs there's a uh, some over here and some clutches down here as well um, of course these eggs will be unfertile as there is no male I do have three more down here which I'm waiting to uh, to emerge uh, this is fine to do it this came out like this anyway um, and it's just a shame because this one is as I said is the female which came out and is basically on a uh, on a death clock and as there's no male the eggs that she's producing are unfertile so hopefully um, if a male will come out of this pretty soon uh, that'll be pretty good or if not if there can be uh, at least a male and a female in these three that will emerge together and will hopefully uh, be able to reproduce successfully. So uh, these are still alive as well. Myself and Kim just checked out uh, these, and they still do that little wiggle thing, which I'm not going to do because I don't want to stress them out. But yeah, I just wanted to just show you this. Um, this is alive and well, um, and really, I don't think the video will kind of do it any kind of justice really. Um, if I put my hand on the other side you can see how big this moth is. It is very big. It is the largest um, surface area of any butterfly or moth. So uh, pretty large. And yeah as I said I wanted to do this video quickly because basically um, it will die very very soon. So I wanted to show you it. I'll have a video as well, which I'll put up. Of I did um, when it emerged on Sunday. Once it had hardened off, I did a quick video where I had it on my hand, which I posted to my Instagram. Um, and yeah, it's just absolutely beautiful. I don't know if I'll be able to show you the underside of it, or the the colours on the side. Very very, uh, very beautiful very delicate. I'm not sure what I'll do with this once it's uh, once it's died. I presume I'll probably send it off to a university or something for um, for dissection. So uh, yeah, bit of a shame, but still pretty cool nonetheless that it has emerged. Uh, it took uh, three months from when I had it for it to emerge. So yeah. A very quick video on this. I'm not going to handle it because I don't want to waste any of its energy. Uh, for those who don't know, um, moths do not have mouth parts. They survive purely on whatever reserves they have left from when they were a caterpillar. So handling it and making it flap its wings and stressing it out is only going to burn through those reserves faster. And I think if I can keep her alive longer, maybe a male will emerge and we can get some fertile eggs so so yeah uh, this video will be um, up on Tuesday with someone editing ed ed editing this video I've already got that sorted if you have any requests of these uh, please do so in this video because once they have emerged they do not live for very long so I won't be able to, I'll be able to do any filming once they've died so you need to get your requests in pretty quick for these guys. Hi, this is Mike with Casey Tarantulas, and this is Kansas City. And these are some of my tarantulas. Check the link down below for one of my videos. I uh, hope you guys like what you see, and if you do, make sure you subscribe to my channel. I am doing a giveaway soon, so you'll definitely want to be part of that. Thanks again to Dan for letting me do the outro for his channel. And thanks to you guys for watching.